Yo, welcome to today's road trip through the mind as we ourselves enter the open road. But the destination isn't necessarily a place, but a state of being, one in which we find euphoria, enlightenment, exaltation, allowing ourselves to see beyond the common nature of all things, dissecting the complexities of simplicity. I'll be your host. Hi, Hello. How are you? Good. Um, can I get a sixteen ounce caramel macchiato? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. You think I did that unintentionally? No, I'm meant to take y'all through that drive-through to give this video more of a, just a grounding feeling, you know? To make it seem more so of like something which everybody can connect with, you know? Well, anyways, back to our road trip, people. We're about to get real trippy. And what I mean by that is that, like I said before, the destination isn't necessarily a place, but it's a state of being. It's in allowing ourselves to see things which we would otherwise not pay any attention to, that we wouldn't give a second glance to, that we would merely step over peaks. You know, it's like concrete. Concrete itself is an, an amazing technology, but due to the fact that it's surrounding us in our everyday lives we simply look over it as it's like some common feature which holds no like value in our ability to dive within the depths of what make up concrete and allow us to walk upon this hard structure tame the wild so to speak allowing us to go places which would otherwise be inaccessible and that's what I want to talk about today Accessibility. How is it that we can gain access into places which would be otherwise inaccessible? And that's why I want to talk about Ant-Man. Ant-Man is the master of getting into places which he shouldn't be able to get into, right? And how does he do it? He does it by becoming small, people. By humbling himself. By allowing his environment to grow. By allowing things to be larger than he is. Now, how is it that we do that? We silence ourselves. Our action is in a sense inaction. We speak by not speaking, allowing other things to speak, allowing other things to be bigger and heard. And by we ourselves hearing 
and listening, we can then find the key which opens the lock to the place which we want to go to, right? So we got to humble ourselves, become small, become a shadow, a shadow within a shadow so that people look at the shadow and just think it's a shadow, but they don't even know that you're within the shadow. So your darkness within dark. And by doing so, people don't even know you're there and you're small and you're out of mind, out of sight, so to speak. And in this, you can then gain entrance into places which you would obstruct yourself from gaining entrance into by being this large and bulky object which cannot gain access into places that prevent you from gaining access into because you're so big, you know? So what we gotta do is we gotta be small. We gotta be humble, we gotta be minute. And by doing this, we can then see the flaws in all the things around us which are then large. You gotta know how to really feed other people's egos how to feed them, make them grow big, and by doing so, you're small. And then you can find ways to get in. It's a business strategy, people, what I'm speaking about here. It's not necessarily fantasy or fairy tale. Real life superheroes do this on a day-to-day basis. However, because it's, you know, not necessarily the magic within the movies that we see on the screen, We merely throw it to the wayside due to the fact that nobody's flipping a wand and having sparks fly. But there's real magic at hand here, people. And the magic is within the ability to control yourself. By controlling yourself, you're maximizing your potential to control your surroundings. So what we gotta do is we gotta control our words, control our actions. We gotta minimize ourselves, and then we ourselves can fit within the lock. Once we fit within the lock, we can gain access to the room that we seek. Once we get on the other side, we then grow. We maximize ourselves. We maximize our size. We engorge ourselves. We become big. And by becoming big, we can then affect the world around us and the things that are smaller than us. But again, you gotta then know how to go small because it's not always beneficial to be in the heat. You gotta seek shade and allow others to take the heat off you once they find themselves in the spotlight, so to speak. You know, it can be hot being on the stage and having those spotlights shine down on you 24 seven. Allow somebody else to act, allow them to take the heat for a minute. And by you then becoming small, you can escape the heat of the sun, get in the shade. And by doing so, you could then learn how to get somewhere else that you wanna be maximizing your capabilities maximizing your ability to find yourself wherever I mean you don't necessarily have to have a destination in mind just like this conversation I had no clue where it was I'm going I have no clue where it is I'm going right now but I found my way there and that's how you do it people that's how you find yourself in new places by not necessarily going anywhere you just go You just go with the flow, you know? It's like the surfer. The surfer, in a sense, can control the wave because he can put himself in a position where he knows there will be waves. I mean, a surfer is not going to find a wave by going just anywhere. So he's going to put himself where the waves are. I mean... And by putting yourself in certain locations, you know there are going to be certain waves. So by doing this, you control your ability to find waves. And you're not necessarily directly controlling the environment, but you're controlling your position within known environments, controlling your environment by controlling yourself. And by controlling yourself, You can then ride the wave, which was unseemingly not created by you, but created by you in the fact that you created the ability for you to find yourself in the position to find the wave. So in that sense, you created the wave 
for yourself by placing yourself in the position to actually ride the wave. Now, where is it that we're at? Well, I mean, all we gotta do is breathe. And by breathing, we know we're okay. We know that everything's fine. We know that there's no such thing as time, only the moment. And the moment holds no time. It's timeless. That's why when you gain enough momentum, you're able to overcome the obstacles because you see beyond time itself and you overcome those who are keeping time. By you being in the moment, you allow yourself greater ability to take control of the moment. And those who watch the time and keep track of time find themselves not in time, they're out of time, baby, because they don't know what moments are. They don't know how to take advantage of being in the moment. And in doing so, they lose their momentum. They lose their capability and capacity to take control of the environment, take control of their surroundings, to truly affect their environment, and to be successful, great individuals. Real life Ant-Man people. Knowing when to maximize something, knowing when to feed something to make it grow, to take the heat off your shoulders and put it on something else, to minimize a topic at hand, minimize a situation, make people glance in a different direction, then make them glance back at you, speak your voice, show your size, make yourself grow, grow large, larger, larger, large and in charge. The more in charge you are, the more able you are to affect and influence, to change your surroundings by actually gaining the ability to place yourself within a different environment. I mean, it's not necessarily all about altering the environment, but knowing what environments actually are the most beneficial to what it is you want to do. And by actually coming across the pathway to find yourself within this environment which maximizes your potential. And once you actually place yourself within this environment, you've created this environment by creating the ability for you yourself to put yourself within this environment. So by actually knowing what environments there are, you've then created the ability for you to put yourself in these environments. Now go out, find the way to put yourself in these environments and create the environment which you want. Real life Ant-Man people, be small when you need to fit through the keyhole and be large when you need to make an impact, and then, you know, shrink back down when you need to make an exit. I mean, draw attention elsewhere. Go someplace else. I mean, you gotta be able to persuade somebody's mind to think about thoughts that you yourself have thought about beforehand and that you know will take the heat off of what it is that you don't wanna show. I mean, if you want to be a part of the show, and if you want to be seen, then you got to know how to cause a scene, but man, you don't want to cause the wrong scene and, you know, make the wrong showing. Show yourself to be something that you know you're not. So, be an at man. Be small. Be big. Be, uh, whatever you want. Be whatever you want to be go where you want to go, be a part of the shows that you yourself create, but you didn't necessarily create them, you just put yourself in the ability and in the place for them to merely be, and you knew that you just had to be there at that time for you to find yourself within the scene that you wanted to be seen in, just let it go. Just let it all go, you know, and ride the wave to where it is that you yourself want to go. All right, people, real life Ant-Man, shrinking down small, growing large, and in charge. I mean, if everything that I handle is merely an extension of my soul, of my being, taking this needle, influencing this cell to grow large, 
how it is that I want it to be seen, how I want it to manifest its form, I myself am becoming minuscule. But for me to be in this position, I must have first separated myself from my environment, separated myself from other individuals, to put me in this position to become so small that I'm cellular. I'm so small that I'm cellular, then I can influence a cell. I can influence molecular pathways. I can bioengineer things which will then become large. And I myself can be an astronaut racing in my spaceship. Where as soon as I'm in outer space, the world is a small thing. And I can affect it greatly. My shadow is huge. But I'll tell you what, you better know when to shrink because if you fall while you're big, man, it's a long ways down. So, you know, no one to shrink, y'all. Better yet, no one to be big. Peace out. Thanks for joining me on this road trip. Austin here with Euphoric Intentions. And my intention was just that. Cooking!